The current energy crisis has sparked a massive interest in renewable energies once more, and those stocks in that renewable sector are hotting up as we speak. Now, one of those great sectors that has proved popular over the last few months is the wind energy sector. And I'm going to look at six of the best stocks available to you now and an ETF if you want some more uh, global uh, generic exposure to that sector. So with that, let's take a look. So before we get into my favorite six, can I have a quick look at the shortlist I put together of stocks and ETFs? It wasn't a big selection to pick from, but managed to come up with 15 different symbols. So we quickly run through those. First up, Vestas Wind Systems, then Orsted, then Dominion Energy, Eversource Energy, Brookfield Renewable Partners, TPI Composites, Siemens Games of Renewable Energy, Ibra Drola, um, Northland Power, Transalta Renewables, Nextera Energy, Borolex, General Electric, and then the two ETFs, Global X Wind Energy and First Trust Global Wind Energy ETF. So let's now take a look at my favorite ETF out of those two. So I'm going to go for First Trust Global's Wind Energy ETF. Got the great ticker FAN fan. Pick this one, just a bit more history, and I like the build up and makeup of the portfolio slightly better than the other one. As you can see, it's been around for a few years and then took off early 2020 to those highs around 26 area in early 21. And then since then, hasn't been doing that great, but it looks like it's coming up to some sort of resistance around that 38.2% Fibonacci line could be an area to build on for a bounce back to those highs but if you want an ETF that gives you exposure to the wider wind energy sector then this could be for you So first up, we've got Brookfield Renewable Partners, ticker BEP, and these are all going to be weekly charts to give you a longer term perspective of what the price action's been up to. Now, Brookfield, they are actually headquartered in Bermuda. A utilities company operate pretty much globally, but have a big wind, you know, um, power business and has been one of the more successful stories in terms of stock price action over the last few years. Next up, Next Era Energy, ticker NEE. Not a lot to say about them other than the fact that they are the leading global producer of wind and solar energy. Probably one of the bigger companies in our shortlist here. Market cap around you know, the mid 150 160 billion dollars and then we move on to northland power these guys are from canada toronto to be more specific and their sole purpose is developing building owning and operating clean green global power infrastructures across the world and one of those key focuses is wind power and as you can see by the stock price been doing pretty well over the last five ten years then we skip across the pond to Denmark and a company called Orsted ticker DNNGY well, can be traded from the States as well these guys are the biggest um, operator of offshore wind farms also into solar and other energy and bio energy businesses but like I say one of the biggest around for wind power energy. Now you're probably going to ask me why the heck have I um, incorporated General Electric into my six, uh, being that you know the recent history hasn't been all that great. Well, they're planning on splitting themselves into three different areas, and one of those areas is energy, and they are one of the leading players in that sector. And that valuation alone for that split up of that you know one group would be a lot higher than where it is now so it's an investment opportunity just there but i think they've also got some good products 
and good market um, participation in the, you know the renewable energy sector so that's why I have included them on this list we are going to finish R6 with uh, Borelex that's ticker BLX a Canadian company and they develop construct operate renewable energy power facilities you know solar hydroelectric storage and of course wind power and you can see by the stock price again been doing well bit of a dip and you know nice recovery so far this year so there you go six stocks and an ETF to look at now those stocks can be traded all around the world and can be accessible from various markets now it's something for you to think about as the renewable energy sector grows especially like I mentioned earlier around the recent energy crisis that we're all suffering from let me know what you think of those six stocks have I missed any would you have added any in the wind energy sector are there any other renewable sectors you think are going to be particularly strong over the coming next few years love to hear from you and if you've liked today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video